Lighties, lighties, lighties. Lighties, lighties, lighties. I'm here tonight on my shield. And I'm here tonight on my shield. Uh, we're here to talk about some MLB news, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the MLB news uh, from the some from yesterday and uh, uh, four of these stories from yesterday and a story that came out today about Daniel Bard. So we'll talk about these stories coming up next. All right. So the first story we want to talk about says breaking: the San Diego Padres are closing in on a extension. With right-handed pitcher Joe Musgrove, that is expected to be five years, $100 million per John Heyman. And this is a good deal here for the Padres with right, with their right-handed pitcher Joe Musgrove. was an all-star this year. It's been one of their, probably their best pitcher um, this year. Blake Snell's not been good. Hugh Darvish has been pretty, de has been decent. But he's definitely been their best pitcher as uh, Joe Musgrove. So they really needed to get him extended. So he's pretty much the base of that team, the ace of that team this year, and uh, so good deal here for Joe Musgrove and the San Diego Padres. Uh, Blue Jays right-handed pitcher Alec Manoa, he reportedly suffered a right elbow contusion during uh, the game against Detroit, the, the Detroit Tigers, after taking a comebacker uh, off his off his elbow, which is a uh, terrible. He's been the I mean, he's one of the front runners for the Cy Young this year in the American League with Justin Verlander. And this is going to cost him a few games. Uh, elbow contusion after taking like a comebacker, uh, hitting the elbow. So he's going to miss a few games. So this sucks. He's been their best pitcher this year. Either him or Kevin Gossman. So that's going to be a big loss right there. Because outside of him and Kevin Gossman, they, their pitching has been not really that great. I mean, you got Ross Stripling, he's decent, but I mean, like, yeah. So, next thing, uh, next thing I want to go over is the New York Yankees. They've reportedly pivoted to Oakland A's right-handed pitcher Frankie Montas following the acquisition of Luis Castillo by Seattle per Andy Martino. The Yankees are also reportedly have interest in Angels right-handed pitcher Noah Syndergaard. And Pirates left-handed pitcher Jose Quintana. End quote. So they missed out on Luis Castillo. Um, the Mariners won out in the end. So now they're going to try and go after A's right-handed pitcher Frankie Montas. They really need another pitcher of that pitching staff with um, Garrett Cole. Jordan Montgomery's probably their worst starter that they have. They have Nestor Cortez, Garrett Cole. Um, I know they have Severino, Herman. But... I mean, Herman's decent, but Jordan Montgomery's not really good. They need to add another starting pitcher. If they can't get him, though, they also have interest in Noah Syndergaard. I don't know why his velocity's down. He's not as good as he's not as good of a pitcher as he used to be. And Jose Quintana's decent, but I don't know if he fits in that rotation. So if they don't get um, Frankie Montas, they might have to go after um, like fucking. I know Cinderguard because I don't think Quintana will be like a rotation in the rotation. But yeah, we'll see. A Mets superstar, Ace Jacob Degrom, he's going to reportedly make his 2022 season debut Tuesday versus the Nationals. He's been uh, injured off season. He's made like four or five rehab starts, but it's confirmed he's going to make his 2022 season debut Tuesday versus the Nationals. So we'll see what um, Jacob Degrom has in store for us. For his debut, season debut, Tuesday. The last thing I'll talk about is Daniel Bard. He's finalizing a contract extension with the Rockies, per source. One of the better relievers on the trade market is no longer available. The Rockies don't know what they're doing. I get he's been one of your best relievers here this year. He has like a 1.9 ERA, but he's 37. You could have traded him, got some pieces back in return. He's 37. Instead, you sign him for two more years for like nine million a year, two years, 19 million, and it's, and one of the better relievers on the trade market. You kind of got something, maybe something good in return, a prospect or something, or maybe a good major league player. And say so you sign him to a two-year, 19 million dollar deal, and he's 37. Like I get, he's one of your better relievers, but still, just doesn't make a lot of sense if you ask me. So Rockies fans even don't understand the, what they're doing. Even the Rockies, they don't even understand what they're doing. So, 
just just funny. The Rockies, man, unbelievable. But that's all I have to say for this. Um, I have to say for this video, ladies and gentlemen. So until next time, I have to lie. I thank you for watching.